about um, the people of uh, India and, and winning that World Cup. What was it like to the reaction of the people of, uh, in the streets after the, winning that World Cup? What was it like for you? First of all, good evening to everyone. Uh, to be holding this trophy, I would like to thank uh, the Laureus Academy members for giving this memory to me. I think this is oh. really special. And also the people who voted and felt that the moment that we saw on the screen was worth voting for. I'd like to thank them. With uh, everyone celebrating Laureus's 20th anniversary, it's simply incredible what the Academy has been able to achieve in the last 20 years and how it has impacted so many lives through various mediums, uh, sport, uh, gender equality, education, so many things. It's, it's truly incredible and uh, I hope it continues the way it has for the last 20 years and we impact many more lives to answer your question about the World Cup. I think it's simply incredible beyond words that I can express. How many times uh, do you get uh, an event happening where there are no mixed opinions, there are no mixed views? Very rarely, very rarely the entire country celebrates. Very rarely there are no various opinions. Everyone sits together and they celebrate. And this is a reminder again of how powerful sport is and what magic it does to all our lives. I think uh, we experience that, we experience the power of sport and that has, that has stayed with me even now when I watch that moment. Really amazing. Well done, Mike. Congrats. And finally, on a, on a personal note, You still look as handsome as ever, I must tell you. But you won World Cup on your sixth and final attempt. What was it like? What was the moment you, well, you won? Uh, what was your emotions? My journey started in 1983, when I was only 10 years old. And why I say 1983 to the guys who don't follow cricket, is India won the World Cup in 1983. And at the age of 10, I didn't understand the significance of winning that trophy. Because everyone was celebrating, I joined a party and I was celebrating. But somewhere I knew something special had happened to our country. And I wanted to experience that one day. And that's where my journey began. Uh, with the trophy in my hand, you know what? We saw, we saw this image. There is a tricolor in my hand, which obviously was the proudest moment of my life. And also holding that beautiful trophy, which I chased, as Boris said, for 22 years. Mm. But the only good thing, I never gave up. I never lost hope. I was merely lifting that trophy on behalf of my countrymen, India. And that has given me a lot of satisfaction the 24 years that I played cricket for India has been a, a dream come true for me. I couldn't have asked for anything more. But there's also something which hasn't changed since then. Holding this trophy has also given me an honor to be here to represent my nation. I feel extremely proud to be holding this trophy on behalf of all the Indians and all the people who have supported Indian cricket. There's something which I want to say at this point. I had the honor of meeting the great man in South Africa, President Nelson Mandela, when I was only 19. His hardship did not affect leadership. Out of many big messages that he left behind with us, the most important I felt was sport has got power to unite, to unify everyone. Today, sitting in this room with so many great athletes, some of them did not have the best of everything, but they made the best of everything they had. 
and they've gone on to become champion athletes. I want to thank all of them for inspiring youngsters to pick up a sport of their choice and chase their dream. Today, I feel this trophy belongs to all of us for having inspired youngsters, and it's not just about me. So thank you very much. It's truly humbling to be here. Have a good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up.